Okay, setting up my screen. Hello everyone, it's me, it's Mark, and I'm here with you for another live stream class, yay! Before I do anything, I need to know if you can see me and hear me. If you can see me, if you can hear me, please say yes in the chat, that way I, that way I know everything is a-okay. If you can see me, if you can hear me, please say yes in the chat. Helga, thank you. Hello, hello. Lolly says yes. Thank you, Lolly. Thank you so much. Tetsuro says yes. Thank you, Tetsuro, very much. Ella says yes. Tomas says yes. Thank you, Tomas. Samuel says yes. Hello, Cecilia. Sleepwalker says yes. C and Sun says okay. <laughs> All right. Cecilia says yes. Well, that means you can see me and you can hear me. And that means everything is a-okay. Sweet Lana, hello. Candy, hello, hello. Kako, thank you. Okay, well, you know what we do. We always have a toast for good luck. We always start our class with a toast. So whatever you're drinking, pick it up for our toast. And right here I have hot coffee right here in my mug and we will have two toasts yes two toasts our first toast will be to the green team you see them their names are in green they support me they support the channel by supporting me and the channel they are supporting everyone so let's give the green team a big thank you cheers if you don't have a beverage we can fist bump bump cheers bump cheers and because we had a toast, we have to have a drink. So bottoms up. Mmm. Super hot. <laughs> just made. Just made. Okay, our second toast is for you. Because without you, there's no reason for me to be here. So let's toast to you. Let's toast to a fun, interesting, informative, and productive lesson today. Cheers. Bump. Cheers. Bump. And because we had a toast, we have to have a drink. So bottoms up. Mm. Okay. Well, let's talk about today's class. And here are the activities we're doing. This is the lesson plan. We're doing one, two, three, four, five activities. Five activities, everyone. Five activities. We are going to do form a sentence. We're going to do, now we've been doing quizzes from the book, but now we're, we're going to do, um, like state your opinion. I'm gonna um, read you a sentence and you tell me your opinion about the sentence. And then we will do uh, a, the grammar wheel. We've been doing this sometimes. And this particular one, you, you finish the sentence, you finish the sentence. Then after that, we have dictation cards. And then after the dictation cards, we have Lolly's Revenge. So that is one, two, three, four, five activities for you. Yes, okay. And um, one thing about the chat, you must, you must be a subscriber to enter the chat. You have to subscribe if you want to um, join us in the chat. I do that to keep the bots out and to keep the spamming out so we have a safe and fun place to practice our English together. So if you want to practice in the chat with us, you need to subscribe. I do that to keep the bots out and to keep the spamming out so we have a fun and safe place to practice our English together. Okay, hey, Mary's here. Hello, Mary. Okay, Corey, hello, Corey, thank you. Sonia, hello, Sonia. Okay, great. Uh, Miriam, hello. Great, great. Mitra, hello. Good to see you all. Okay, Ali, hello. Umesh, hello. Good, 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 good. All right. Well, let's go ahead and do our first activity. And that is form a sentence. 
I have my pen here, my whiteboard pen. Hello, Kate. How are you today? Sole, hello. Uh, Yasmin, hello. Okay, here we go. Form a sentence. I'm going to write a pattern on the board and you make sentences based on that pattern. Okay, activity number one, form a sentence. And here is the, the, the pattern. I was given, and then this is a noun, and then plus time expression. Okay or time phrase, expression, time phrase. Okay, so I was given and then a thing and then time. A time phrase, a time expression. Okay, nice, Sleepwalker is on the board. She says, I was given a cup of coffee at 8 a.m. All right, nice, nice. <clears throat> okay, I was given a cup of coffee. Whoops, 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 whoops. Okay, let's do it again. <laughs> okay, I was given a cup of coffee at 8 a.m. Okay, good, 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 good. All right, there's our noun, cup of coffee, and then our time um, phrase or expression at, a, uh, at 8 a.m. Very good. <clears throat> okay. Hello, Ronnie, how are you? Okay, good, Ronnie. We're making sentences, we're practicing. So in the chat, why don't you um, make a sentence based on this pattern. I was given, and then we want to now. So for example, I was given, um, I was given a book yesterday, plus time expression. So we can say, I was given a book yesterday. Right, we want a, a time expression. Here, um, <clears throat> we have 8 a.m., we have yesterday. Okay, Helga says, I was given a gift yesterday, nice. Tetsuro says, I was given french fries at noon, that's nice. Okay, <clears throat> Raman, I was given a doll for my birthday at 12 o'clock. Okay, Yasmin, I was given an important report in the morning, or I, it's better to say this morning. I was given an important report this morning. Sonia, I was given a book to, I, I was given a book to my, okay, so I was, okay, Sonia, I was given, so you received it. So your sentence would be, I was given a book from my brother at six o'clock. So you received it from your brother, and so it's not your, so you were given, it was a present, for example, right? So um, your situation would be more like your brother returned your book. But here, given. I was given. So you received it. Like for, like, um, okay, you could see Lolly, Sonia, for example, Lolly says, I was given a toy. I was given a toy from my brother, okay, on Christmas, okay, time, that's a time. Okay, Sleep Parker, I was given a photo the day before yesterday. Mitra, I was given eggs with bread at 9 a.m., okay. Umesh, I was given tablets at 7 a.m., Ronnie, good. Okay, Ronnie, let's see you make a sentence, please. Okay, given, we're using given. 
Ella, I was given a medal for excellence at the age of 16. Okay, um, I was given a medal of excellence for studying or excellence of, uh, I was given a medal for excellence in studying when I was six, when I was 16, when I was 16. So it's all past tense, right? Was, so this is all past tense. Okay, Sleep Parker, I was given a role in a play last summer. Very good. Yes, these are passive. Okay, Umesh asked if they're passive, yes. Because we don't know who did the action. We don't know who did the action, right? So I was given a cup of coffee at AM. Who gave Sleepwalker the cup of coffee? We don't know, right? So it's passive. We, we don't know or we don't, um, it, the focus is not on the action, right? That it's, it's, well, no, it's not focused on the person doing the action. So like, for example, um, Lolly says, I was given a toy from my brother. So the, the, the focus is not who did the action, but what, right? The what, cup of coffee, a book, a toy, that is the focus. That's what we care about. We don't care about who did the action or we don't know who did the action. So here we don't know who did the action. So it's, it's passive focuses on what was given. That was, this is the focus. So it's passive. <clears throat> okay, Cecilia, I was, whoops, I missed it. Sorry, sorry. Uh, Mary, I was given cheese and salad at 7 p.m. Lolly, I was given a gift from my mother a week ago. Sleepwalker, I was given a motivational speech in this morning. I was given a motivational speech this morning. Sweet Lana, I was given a task two weeks ago. Lulu, I was given, I was given a raise this year. I was given a raise. That's good, Lulu. Congratulations. I was given a raise. Matsura, I was given pizza at 8 a.m. So, okay, Matsura, I was given pizza at 8 8 a.m. Samuel, I was given uh, medicine. I was, okay, okay, so Samuel, you received it. So it's better to say I was given medicine yesterday. So that's, that's, that sounds um, more clear, okay? So Samuel, you don't need pharmacy, just I was given medicine yesterday. You all, hello, you all. Good to see you. Umesh, I was given a trophy last week. Okay. Um, Sole, I was given a shirt yesterday at five o'clock. So, so yeah, so everyone, let's practice. So we don't know who, okay? So let's, let's don't um, say people, okay? Let's don't say people. Let's just Let's just do this, okay? So I was given a noun, okay, a thing, right? So I was given a cup of coffee, I was given a book, I was given a car, I was given uh, shoes, okay? So let's just, let's just keep it simple here. And then um, noun and time expression, okay? So let's just keep this pattern. So we don't know who did the action. We don't know who gave the coffee. We don't know who gave the book. I was just given. Okay, so we're not going to name the 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 person doing the action. We're not going to name the person doing the action. We are not going to do that. We're just going to say the noun and the time. Okay, so that's what we're going to practice. Just the noun and the time. Sea and sun. I was given breakfast at eight o'clock. Good. O okay, I was given medicine. Okay, what time? Okay, Sleep Parker, I was given a map this afternoon. Uh, 
Okay, sweet Lana, I was given a lottery ticket for my birthday. Good. All right, Hido, I was given a very delicious dinner yesterday. Good. Samuel, I was given an email yesterday. Uh, Maitra, I was given a letter one day ago. Umesh, I was given 10,000 rupees. Good. When? Lolly, I was given some flowers last week. Good. Amina, I was given a game. Okay, no, no people, Amina. We're not going to name who gave it to you. We're not going to say that. Shams, I was given breakfast this, okay, I was given breakfast this morning at 7.30 a.m. Shams, I was given breakfast this morning at 7.30 a.m. Lolly, I was given an English lesson yesterday. Sleepwalker, I was given a pillow at midnight. Umesh, I was given chocolate at 5 p.m. Ali, I was given a jacket at 8 o'clock. Helga, I was given free 10 gigabytes for my phone in October. Raman, I was given a pamphlet at 7 p.m. Aya, I was given a cake for lunch. Okay, Aya, I was given a cake for lunch. Or at lunch. You can say that. I was given a cake at lunch. Either you can say for or at one of those. Um, Umesh, I was given some toys at 5 p.m. Tetsuro, I was given a gaming machine a year ago. Tomas, I was given a book as a Christmas gift. Okay, we don't need usually, but that's good, Tomas. I was given a book as a Christmas gift. As a Christmas gift. Mm. I was given a car yesterday. So remember, not my car, a car, because you received it like a present. So I was given a car yesterday. Lolly, I was given um, this pair of shoes yesterday. Okay, good. So she's showing, I was given um, this pair of shoes yesterday, or these pairs of shoes. Yeah, I was given, let's say I was given a pair of shoes yesterday. That, that's better, a pair of shoes. I was given this pair of shoes. That, that works too, Lolly. Uh, Matsura, I was given a book at midnight. I was given a few minutes of time at 4 p.m. Okay, so we're not going to name any people. Just, just noun and time. Noun and time. Just a thing. So a people are noun too, but just a thing. I was given a thing. And then when. I was given something. When. I was given something. When. Aza, I was given a cup of coffee at 7 a.m. Okay, good, good, good. I'm looking at the clock. We got to change activities. I'm sorry. I'm looking at the clock and we got to change. We will review this on Friday. We will do it again on Friday. Okay, good. Tomas, Lolly, I was given a beer a little while ago. Congratulations. <laughs> okay, good job. We're going to change activities because we have five to do and we're going to be here for two hours. So it's time to change activities. Mary says, I was given a new mug as a present last week. Candy says, I was given an English book yesterday. Good, good. Okay, here we go. We're doing activity number two and we're going to call it um, give your opinion. We're going to call this activity Give Your Opinion. Give Your Opinion. <clears throat> okay, and this is book two. This is my book, 50 Very Short Conversations. And Remember last week we did some quizzes, right? We did, so um, we have quizzes and then we're going to have, uh, and then, so here we have quizzes and here you give your opinion. And how you give your opinion, you give it a rating, you give it a number, all right? So let's look at 
the first one here. Okay, so how it works is we have um, conversations, right? Conversation one, conversation two, <clears throat> three, four, five, six, and there's eight, right? After eight, and then there's a, a quiz, and then give your opinion, and then uh, more, more conversations, and then get, again, quiz, and then um, give your opinion, and so forth, quiz, give your opinion, quiz, give your opinion. So that's how it works. So you can see here it says scale yourself, rate yourself, and so that basically means give your opinion and you read the sentence and what, what do you think about that sentence? What do you think about that idea? Do you feel strong about it? If you feel strong about it, then you give it like a 10, you give it a high score. If you don't feel very strong about it, if you feel weak about it, if you, if you don't agree with it, you give it a low number, maybe you know like a one or two or even a zero. So if you agree, you highly agree, you give it a, a large number. If you don't agree very much, you give it a low number, okay? So I'll write it on the board. So you can um, maybe understand it better. So here, okay, so here maybe we have, you know, zero. And then here we have five and then 10, okay? So here you, you feel strong. So, you know, you agree and then um, maybe don't agree. Okay, so if you feel strong about it, you, you give it a high number. <clears throat> if, you feel, if you don't feel strong about it, if you don't agree, then you give it a lower number. So your opinion, you feel strong about it, so your opinion, it's, it's a high number. If you don't feel strong about it, you give it a low number, okay? So here we go. So you're going to give it a number, 1 to 10. Hello, Marcos. How are you doing? Okay, so here we are. We're doing um, give your opinion. <clears throat> and here we go. Now, how do you feel about it? What's your, <clears throat> what's your opinion? Here we go. And there, there are eight, so I'm just going to um, read a couple here for you. Um, do you often get thirsty? Do you often get thirsty? Do you often get thirsty? What's your, what's your, um, it's not really opinion, but how do you, you know, feel, is that true for you? How about, is that true? Or how, how often do you, um, get thirsty? Is it? Often, so a high number, or you don't get thirst. You don't get thirsty very often, so it's it's a lower number. So I'll write this sentence. <clears throat> do you do you often get thirsty? Okay, do you often get thirsty? So if, you, if that's true, then you give it a high number. If it's not so true, you, you give it a lower number. Mary has a four, so it's not so high. So Mary doesn't get um, thirsty too often. Okay, Tomas, I want a number. Think about like a number. Elle has a three, Tetsu has a five. Mohammed is six, Sonia is a three. Helga, it's a minus two. Umesh, six. Aza, five, right there in the middle. Okay, Yol, six. Sweet Lana, six. Cecilia, six. Samuel, seven. Okay, Aza put an eight, so Aza changing his score. Sleepwalker a five, Marcos a six, Lolly is a ten. So Lolly says a ten. 
I always get thirsty and drink beer. Tomas is a 10. Mitra is an 8. C and Sons is a 7. Shams a 4. <laughs> okay, good, good. All right, let's do another one, shall we? Let's do another one. Okay. <clears throat> How about this? Coffee is the best beverage. <laughs> Coffee is the best beverage. How do you feel about that? What's your opinion about that? Coffee is the best beverage. Coffee is the best beverage. Okay, what's your opinion about that this is number oh yeah let's do number so you let's call this a and let's call this b okay so so a is um do you um often get thirsty b coffee is the best beverage Okay, uh, Umesh, I'm not. That's not the. That's not the question there. That's not the the sentence. That's not. the The statement is. The sentence is. Coffee is the best beverage. You have to decide. How you, How do you feel about that? What's your opinion about that? Lolly says yes, but black coffee. Me too. So Lolly has a ten. Samuel has an A, Aya has a 4. I have to go a 10 too. <laughs> I'm always drinking coffee. Okay, hello. Um, Ella has a 4. Yul has a 3. Whoa, a 0. Remet has 0. So Remet does not agree with that at all. Remit does not agree at all. Remit gives it a zero. Oh, Raman gives it a zero. Raman does not agree at all. Sleepwalker has an eight. That's a high number. Yes, Lolly, black coffee all day. I hear you. <laughs> Okay, Aza, what number? I need a number, Aza. Okay. Okay, Umesh has a nine. Shams has a four. Muhammad's a one. Mitra's a zero. Uh, Nadeen is a zero. Okay, let's see. Mary says, my husband thinks it's 10. He always drinks coffee. Okay, Azad's a nine. <laughs> okay, good, good. Okay, let's do it. Let's do another one. Let's do one more. We'll do one more. So we'll do C, and then we'll, we'll go to the next, okay, we'll do C, and, and then we'll go to the next activity, okay? So here we go, let's do, let's do one more. Okay, how do you feel? Driving a truck is a good job. Driving a truck is a good job. Driving a truck is a good job. How do you feel about that? Driving a truck is a good job. Okay, so how do you feel about that? That is C. Driving a truck is a good job. How do you feel about it? What's your opinion? Okay, Ella has a two. Sleepwalker has a two. Sweet Lana has a seven. Lolly, 
is a zero. No way. Too dangerous. Marcos, a one. Umesh has a two. Okay, these are low numbers now. Mary has a one. Uh, Nareen has a five. Tomas has a ten. Oh, oh, Nareen. Okay, yeah, five. Tetro, seven. Samuel, five. Mitra, three. Muhammad, ten. Sonia, four. Andy Boone. <laughs> Andy Boone has a nine. You have the freedom of the road and can listen to music. You have no boss watching you. That's a good point of view for sure. <laughs> Is that Andy? Professor Andy Boone, is that you? Okay, Helga, it's a hard job, but a necessary one. Good. Okay, good. You're all a five. Mary agrees with Helga. So Andy Boone has a nice point there, right? So freedom is very important, right? And um, a trucker, you know, they're on the road, they're, they don't have, you know, it's not a nine to five job. Uh, they're not stuck behind a desk. They don't have, Happy New Year, Andy. And um, <clears throat> so now I'm a little nervous now. Andy's here watching. <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, so a, a truck driver, they, they, they don't have a nine to five job. Um, they kind of have a wild spirit, and so that that makes sense that you would have we would have some zeros and tens, right? Because um, you know some people would not want to be a truck driver for that reason, right? Uh, many people like having a set schedule. Many people like sitting behind a desk, having structure, right? Where like a truck driver. You know, they, they don't have the, the traditional structure of a job. So, okay, good job, everyone. All right, so it's time to change activities. Let's change activities. And our next activity is the grammar wheel. Yes, it's the grammar wheel. And so this is activity number three. Okay, and you know this, right? And so we have, <clears throat> we're, we have the start of sentences, and you have to finish the sentence, all right? And so here we have on the, on the wheel, please, like, I have, there is, there are, this, these, how, what, my, all right? And so you're going to finish the sentence. You will finish the sentence, and I need to get some magnets right here, and they're gonna hold the wheel. So I have some magnets right here. And put magnets on the board, put the wheel on the board, and now I need to draw an arrow. The arrow will tell us which, which word we will use. So I'm gonna draw an arrow. There we go, there's our arrow. And now I'll put the wheel here. So where it stops, no one knows. And so where it stops, that's your, that is your, um, that's the word you will use to start your sentence. Okay, so let's spin the wheel. Where it stops, no one knows, there it goes. These, all right? So we're going to start, our first one is sentence these. So number one, these. Okay, and please finish the sentence. So we're going to start with these, and then you're going to finish the sentence. Oh, okay, Andy, take it easy. So, so 
Um, Andy Boone, he's a professor here in Japan. We are friends. Okay. Sleepwalker is on the board. These days I go to the gym. Very good. Marcos, these shoes are made for trekking. Nice. Lolly, these shoes are comfortable and nice. Sonia, these are my new boots. Good. Mary, these are my sunglasses. Okay, D these are my tasks. Helga, okay, Maha, uh, these are cars. Good. Samuel, these are my documents. Umesh, these are mangoes. Hido, these are my clothes. Aza, what are you doing these days, okay? These are lemons. These are audit reports. Oh boy. <laughs> Shams, these are my boots. Sleepwalker, these results are incredible. Helga, these flowers are beautiful. Cecilia, these are my rubber boots. Tetra, these are my books. Raman, these are my work boots. Lee, these are gems. Okay, so we need plural, right? So they have to end with an S. The, the nouns end with an S. All right. These roses are pretty. Very good. Okay, um, world of happiness, we need a plural. So these are my lovely phones. So all the nouns, all the things have to be plural. They need to end with an S. All right, so these are my shoes. Umesh, these cups are antiques. So antiques, these cups are antiques. Tetsuro, these are my cookies. These are my favorite things. Good, good. These are my brothers. Or actually, people, we would say, they are my brothers. Okay, so um, people, we say they. But for things, we use these. So you would say, they are my brothers. You will, these are my books. Lolly says, these shoes match with your dress. Okay, good, good, good. And, and um, we have lots of sentences here. And I always want to say, and all your sentences, you guys are doing really well. I want to say that um, we learn by examples and lots of examples in the chat. Lots of great sentences in the chat. So, um, I encourage you all to read each other's sentences, right? I'm reading your sentences, right? And I want you to also read the sentences. So what you're doing is you're, of course, practicing your reading, but also you are internalizing the pattern of the language, right? You are internalizing how English is sounds naturally, how how it is formed, how these sentences are made. And, and so um, by reading the sentences, you are um, helping yourself to um, see how English is put together. Okay, good, good. These trains, these trains leave for Kyoto. Good, Tetsuro. Shams, these are every day my favorite. Oh, oh, okay, these these are my everyday favorite colors. These are my everyday favorite colors. Okay, Shams? These are pillows. These shops are on the right of you. Good, Helga. Raman, these cups are dirty. Oh, no, wash them. Mary says, these mushrooms are edible. Marcio, uh, these are our shoes. Yes. Okay, good. Okay, let's do another one. I don't see many mistakes. You guys did great. Hey, Seiru is in the house. Hello, Seiru. Good to see Seiru. So I, I, I think 
there's not a problem with this structure of these, that's for sure. Okay, let's do another one. Let's call this two. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna spin the wheel. Where it stops, no one knows. Here we go. Let's spin the wheel. And there we go. And our next pad, or next, oh, there are. I think it's, it's in the green there. There are. Here we go. Finish the sentence. There are. And, and that exists, right? Existence. Oh, and again, we want plural here. There are. Uh oh. We got ambulances and police and fire going by. <laughs> okay, so there are, that means it exists. And and plural, more than one. Like like these, there are. And that means you can see it, you can touch it, you can smell it, you can see it, it exists. Okay, Sleepwalker, there are a lot of people here. Yes, good sentence. Okay, Raman, there are so many people in the chat. Yes. Okay, good, good. Azad, there are so many cows. Okay, so you want to S there, cows. So they're plural, so more than one. Okay, sweet, sweet Lana, these days are very cold. It's 34 degrees below zero now. Whoa, Sweet Lana, that's too cold. Lolly, there are a lot of people in the chat. Yes. Oh, okay, he do. Um, there, we're doing there are. Okay, okay, good. These are my class. Okay, that's okay. You know, you guys seen, that's okay. Either one's fine, right? Practice, we're practicing these patterns here, or we're starting, these are sentence starters, sentence starters. Um, sleepwalker, there are children in the garden. Lolly, there are some bottles of beer on the table. <laughs> Mitra, are, Lolly, are they empty? Are there empty bottles of beer on the table? There are several empty bottles of beer, Lolly. Mitra, there are some beautiful flowers, Helga. There are chocolate candies in the vase. Tomas, there are lots of clouds in the sky today, in the sky. See and send. There are many cars in Moscow. Marcos, there are many glasses on the counter. Marcos, on the counter. Mary, there are some fir trees near my house. Mama, there are students. Um, the, okay, yep, we're moving faster. Uh, there are many books on the table. Um, there are, T-H-E-R, T-H-E-R-E, there are. Cecilia, there are many, yeah, there are many noises <laughs> coming from mar outside, yes, outside my, my office. There's, so noise though, um, that's uncountable, so there is a lot of noise outside. So it's a little different. These are, there are, we can count. We can count. If you can't count, if it's uncountable, for example, noise, we would use the singular, there is a lot of noise outside. So, but here, there are, we need to be able to count them. Ah, yes, Lolly says, there are numerous videos by Mark on YouTube. That is for sure. Let's see, Lolly says, okay, uh, Aza, there are many, there are so many cows. Good. Lolly, there are numerous videos by Mark on YouTube. Numerous videos by Mark on YouTube. Tomas, there are snakes in the jungle. Yes. Yes, Lolly says, the bottles are empty. <laughs> Don't drive, Lolly. Stay home. Don't drive. Okay, good, Azad. There are lots of pens. 
Marcos, there are many glasses in the cupboard. Yes. Candy, there are there are my English books on the Okay. There are English Okay. So Candy, we wouldn't with with my you wouldn't use um there are for you would say um there are English books on the desk or my English books are on the desk. So don't use there are and my together. Okay. Don't use there are and my together. Keep those are two separate sentences. Okay, Candy? My books are on the table or there are books on the table. My books are on the table. There are books on the table. So here we're not saying whose they are, right? Just just there are books, right? We're not saying they're your books or his books or her books. Just there are books on the table. Okay, Marcia, there okay, there are a lot of people inside this train. <laughs> yeah, here in Japan, the trains are full of people for sure. Okay, good. Okay, let's do let's do one more. I'm looking at the clock. Let's do one more spin. Okay, we're going to spin the wheel one more time. Okay, let's do number 3 on the on the wheel. Okay, here we go. Let's spin it one more time. Where it stops, no one knows. Here we go. One more time. Okay. Okay, this. There we go. This. That's our next. So, these, that's for plural. This is for singular. One. This. Okay, finish the sentence. We had these, right? That's for more than one. And this is for one thing, one item. Yeah, yes, yes, Sonia. There are many students attending the live stream. I'm happy. Thank you, everyone, for being here. Mwah. I appreciate that. Oh, Samuel, I haven't looked yet. We're hopefully more people um, vote in the poll. Samuel says there are 109 people who voted on the poll today or voted in the poll. Voted in the poll. Um, yeah, Raman, I think you're, oh, I'll look back. I think uh, Raman says there are so many rappers on the street. Yep. Like, um, or we say trash. So actually, it would be better to say um, there is a lot of trash on the street. Okay, there is a lot of trash. Rappers, that's like, like a candy wrapper. You can say wrappers, right? Because that covers the food, right? Or that covers the thing. Lolly, this is my English teacher, Mark. Thank you, Lolly. Mwah. Ronnie, this is my class. Sweet Lana, there are many people on the planet Earth of different nationalities. That's for sure. Marcio, I, I'm really happy to participate. Thank you, Marcio. Mwah. Happy you're here with us. I'm happy you are participating too. Okay, ah, Raman, this is my dress. Henna, this one is mine. Helga, this is the best course to study English. Thank you, Helga. Mwah. Okay, there are good people and bad people for sure. That is words of wisdom. Words of wisdom. Seiru, this is my greatest teacher. Seiru, you guys are too kind. Mary, this is, <laughs> thank you. Mwah, you guys are too kind. Sleepwalker, this is a good idea. Nice, I like that sentence. Uh, Sole, uh, there are many stars in the, okay, there are many stars in the sky. Many stars in the sky. This is my drawer. Yeah, Candy, there are books on the table. Good, Candy. Sonia, this is a very beautiful class for us. I'm happy. This is my friend Nancy. Good. Sleepwalker, this is my family. Uh, this girl is tall. All right, Tetsuro, uh, this magazine is yours. Ramen, this is my phone. Aza, this is my class time with Mark. Thank you. This is my favorite food. This book is yours. 
This is my dog. Oh, these are all you, great sentences, everyone. No problems here. This is my husband. This is the only channel that I have activated since three years ago. Yes, yeah, Samuel, you're here every week. Samuel, you're always here with us. I'm happy about that. Uh, Ramen, this is your room. This is my cat. This afternoon, I went to the shop. This is my favorite color. This year will be better than the last. Uh, we hope. I know, Helga. I know. This is a useful channel. Thank you. A useful channel. This is my friend. This this is his marker pen. <laughs> or we just say marker, Tetsuro. This is his marker. This is my marker. So marker and pen, kind of the same. You could say this is a pen. This is a marker. Oh, Hido. Hido. This is my favorite teacher, Mark. Thank you. Okay, we're going to switch. I, no problem with these sentence starters. These, there are. This, you guys did great. And um, well done, everyone. And again, please, everyone, look at the chat. Look at everyone's sentences. Read all the sentences, and you will improve your English for sure. Lots of great examples in the chat. Okay, let's go to activity number four, everyone. Here we go. Now, we're going, it seems like we're going fast, but we've been here like an hour, and we still have two more activities to do. And these are longer activities. Our next activity is dictation cards, okay? Dictation cards, and you know what that is, right? You need a pencil and paper. And I'm gonna write number four right here. This is our next activity. I don't wanna get this confused, so I'm just, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna do it again, but not with a circle, just dots here. Okay, so that's a little different, right? Okay, so we're gonna do number four now. Okay, number four, dictation cards. All right, dictation cards. And the topic is, well, we, we're practicing adverbs today. Okay, adverbs. And they describe action. Or... <clears throat> or um, how something, how we do something. How about that? Describe, okay, how we do something. <clears throat> so we use adverbs to describe how we do something. Like, how do you drive a car? Oh, I drive a car skillfully. Oh, I drive a car... Um, well, I drive a car fast. I drive a car skillfully. I drive a car carefully. So how you do something. Okay, and so that's the topic, adverbs, how we do something. And we will have four steps. Let's see, step one, let me, let me, I don't need to put one here. So our first activity, dictation. Okay, so you need a pencil and paper because you're going to listen and write down what I say word for word. So please, you need a pencil and paper and you will write down what I say word for word. And I will go fast and slow. So the first time I will say each sentence fast. Then I will say each sentence slow. So if, if the first time was too fast for you, fast for you, or you didn't get all the words, you didn't hear all the words, that's okay. Because the second time, I will go slowly, okay? So I will go quickly and slowly. Then step two, we're gonna shadow. 
Shadowing is we're going to practice saying the sentences together. You're not going to repeat after me. You're going to speak at the same time as I do. You're going to use two skills at the same time, input, output. So you're listening and speaking at the same time. That is shadowing. Then step three, uh, we're going to take turns. So I will say the sentence, then you will say the sentence, all right? But when it's your turn, you're going to have to um, say the sentence by only looking at the picture. And then step four is a quiz. Okay, so we're going to do four steps for your success. And the topic, adverbs. And you need a pencil and paper because you're going to listen and write down what I say word for word. Yes, two attempts, Sleepwalker. The first, or we could say two rounds. The first round or the first attempt, I'm going to say the sentence fast. Second time, the second round or the second attempt, I will say each sentence slow. So that way you can... Um, Fix your sentence, you can um, check your sentence, make sure you have all the words down correctly. Okay, it's a challenge, but that's why you're here, right, Tetsuro? Okay, good. So, do you have your pencil? Do you have paper? Pencil and paper, everyone? Yes? Okay. Here we go. Are we ready? Okay. Let's... Let's count down. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, Sleepwalker's ready. Everyone's ready. Here we go. Card number one. I will say it fast. Marcio. Okay, okay. Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Welcome, welcome. Okay, here we go. Card number one. I make my bed neatly. Oh, I will say each sentence three times. Okay, so I will say the card. I will say the sentence three times. Three times fast the first time. Here we go. Count down. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. I make the bed neatly. I make the bed neatly. I make the bed neatly. Okay, Marcio. Good, good. I'm, I'm happy you're watching. Okay, card number two. I ride my bike fast. I ride my bike fast. I ride my bike fast. I surf gracefully. I surf gracefully. I surf gracefully. Okay, card number four. I listen closely. I listen closely. I listen closely. Okay, number five. I shop wisely. I shop wisely. I shop wisely. Okay, number six. I speak to my students honestly. I speak to my students honestly. I speak to my students honestly. Okay, number seven. I drive slowly. I drive slowly. I drive slowly. Okay, number eight, last card. I live powerfully. I live powerfully. 
I live powerfully. <laughs> okay, that was fast. Okay, now we're gonna go slow. So if you didn't get all the words the first time, if you didn't catch it the first time, don't worry because now I will say the sentence again slowly. And remember, you haven't seen the card, so you haven't seen the sentence, you haven't seen the picture, you are just listening and writing, okay? So here we go. Card number one, slow. I make my bed neatly. Second time. I make my bed neatly. I make my bed neatly. Card number two. I ride my bike fast. I ride my bike fast. I ride my bike fast. Okay, card number three. I surf gracefully. I surf gracefully. I surf gracefully. Card number four. I listen closely. I listen closely. I listen closely. Okay, card number five. I shop wisely. I shop wisely. I shop wisely. Here we go. Number six. I speak to my students honestly. I speak to my students honestly. I speak to my students honestly. Okay, here we go. Number seven. I drive slowly. I drive slowly. I drive slowly. Okay, here we go. Last card, number eight. I live powerfully. I live powerfully. I live powerfully. <laughs> okay, that was dictation. You listen and you wrote down what I said wrote, uh, word for word, okay? So you did it. Let's check it off. It's done. Okay, here we go. Step two, shadow. Now, this is speaking practice. It's not writing practice. It's speaking practice. So please say the sentence with me at the same time. You'll be using two skills at the same time. Listening skills and speaking skills. Input, output, input, output at the same time. It's a challenge, but that's why you are here. So you, you haven't seen the sentence. You haven't seen the picture. After we shadow, then I will show you the picture. You will see the sentence. You will see the, uh, sent the picture and we will talk about the meaning, okay? So let's do shadow time. Here we go, shadowing. Here we go, count down. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. I make the bed neatly. I make the bed neatly. I make the bed neatly. Okay, so I'm gonna show you the card now. You see the sentence. I make the bed neatly. So neatly means it, it's very, uh, how can I say, it, 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 it's not perfect. Yeah, it's like close to perfect, right? And so neat, um, it's, it's done well. It's done perfectly, <laughs> neatly. There's no wrinkles. There are no... 
um, um, you know, no mistakes. It's done neatly. So she makes the bed neatly. So it's all looks nice. It, it looks perfect. There's no mistakes. It's done neatly. <laughs> okay, good. I make my bed neatly. Made with love. I like it, Sleepwalker. So she makes the bed with love. <laughs> good, good. Okay, here we go. Card number two. I ride my bike fast. I ride my bike fast. I ride my bike fast. Okay, so I ride my bike fast. So she's very fast. She goes, right? No, she doesn't go slow. She goes fast. She rides her bike fast. Okay, here we go. Card number three. I surf gracefully. I surf gracefully. I surf gracefully. I surf gracefully. Now, gracefully, kind of like, okay, surfing. I don't know if you've ever been surfing, but, you know, you have a surfboard and the surfboard's on the water, you're standing on the surfboard, and you just make these turns, yeah? And gracefully, meaning it looks beautiful, um, you're doing it skillfully, um, you're, you're doing it uh, well, it looks good, you are a good surfer, you're doing it well, and so the turns are smooth, and without effort right and so it looks like it's it, like people dancing gracefully right and, and so looks like people dancing on water right so a, a graceful surfer it looks easy right and it looks beautiful and they they can make it look easy because they are graceful so i surf gracefully so he makes it look easy <laughs> All right, number four, here we go. I listen closely. I listen closely. I listen closely. Yeah, good, Helga. Yeah, Lolly. Gracefully, elegantly. That's right. Good, good, good. I listen closely. So we want... Students, right? I'm a teacher and I want my students to listen closely. I want them to pay attention. I want them to, to listen closely so they can um, hear everything I say. I want them to um, I want them to listen because like okay, for I teach um, conversation, English conversation. And so listening is, is as important as speaking. Basically, um, right? One person speaking, the other person's listening, and then it switches, right? So listening is 50%. 50% is speaking, and 50% is listening, right? So it's a balance. When you have a conversation, someone is speaking and someone is listening. So I want, when I'm speaking, I want my students to listen carefully. And when my students are listening, or <laughs> when my students are speaking, I'm listening carefully to them, right? Because I want to hear what, they're, what they are saying. So it's very important. Listening is very important, right? It's equal to speaking. So they're, they're equal, 50-50. Yeah, one person speaking, one person is listening. That's a conversation. So um, I listen closely, so closely, so, and, and, so, of course, like, okay, I'm close right now. I'm getting close, close, close. So, I'm listening closely, right? So, I, I, want, I, want, to, I want to hear what you say. So, I'm listening closely. <laughs> okay, good. I listen closely. Yeah, attentively. Good, good, good. Closely, carefully. Good, Mary. So, again, thank you, everyone, for, for helping in the chat. You're, we are helping each other. We're, we're, um, so what's important is we are saying words that are uh, close 
have the same meaning. Different word, same meaning, right? And so by having uh, different words with the same meaning, we can understand better, right? So for, you can see uh, Mary says closely equals carefully, right? So we can say closely, carefully, same meaning, different words. Um, Lolly saying closely, attentively, right? Same, different word, same meaning. So that way we can, we can learn more, right? So there are different words with the same meaning. And so um, everyone in the chat, you are writing um, different words that have the same meaning. So we are expanding our vocabulary. We, our vocabulary is increasing. So good job. Okay, here we go. Next card, number five. I shop wisely. I shop wisely. I shop wisely. Okay, here we go. I shop wisely. Wisely, that means you are not making a bad decision. You are making a good decision. So when you are shopping, you are deciding what to buy. So, you know, you, you, let's say you, okay, I want a new shirt. I need a new shirt for work or I need a new shirt for school. And so you go to the department store and you're looking for some new shirts. And so you want to shop wisely because there are different kinds of shirts, different prices. And, and so maybe you go, okay, this shirt is expensive, but the quality is, is good. It's a high quality shirt. So it's more money, but it will last longer. Or you go, okay, this shirt, this is pretty good. Um, the quality is good and it's, it's a lower price. So I'll get the cheaper one. So, so when you're shopping, you have choices, you have decisions to make. You have, you know, which, which, which color, what, what fabric, uh, what kind of quality, what's the price. And so when you go shopping, you have to make many decisions. And so hopefully you shop wisely. You get a good deal. You buy something that's going to last you a long time and um, you won't spend all your money. <laughs> so I shop wisely discerning way yeah so you're you're you are um making a good decision right so when you shop wisely you are making a good decision okay here we go card number six let's see marcio wisely like the like this object is expensive but i want to buy well okay so marcio so maybe it's expensive, but maybe it's a good, the quality is excellent, so it's gonna last you a long time um, compared to buying something cheap that will break soon or won't last very long. So in a way, you're wasting money. It's cheap, but it's going to break soon. It's going to um, fail soon. It's going to, it won't last. And so maybe that's not a wise decision where maybe the, the, the more expensive one is a wiser decision because it's going to last much longer. So in the long run, the more expensive one is a better choice. So you have to decide. You have to take in many um, different um, concerns. Okay, good. <laughs> yeah, so Marco says, if, if I were a cheapskate, I wouldn't shop wisely. So sometimes, you know, the cheapest isn't the best, right? You know, the cheap one's not going to last very long. You're going to throw it away soon, right? It's going to break soon. So in a way, oh, that was a waste of money. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's go to number six. Card number six. We have three more. Countdown, five, four, three, two, one. I speak to my students honestly. 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 Yeah, and, and <clears throat> honestly, it you know, th that, th 
that's you want to be honest, right? You don't want you want to tell your friends, your family, um, colleagues, coworkers. You want to tell them, you know, you want to be honest with them how you feel, and when you're honest with people, they can understand you better. They they can um, you you can have a better relationship with people if you're honest. And so teacher and student, right? So that also is a relationship, and I think honesty is the best way to do it. So if your if your students do well, tell them. They, they're doing well. If they're not doing well, tell them they're not doing well. Oh, you know, you didn't do very good today, but um, next week try harder, right? And so if you're honest with them and you do your best, you try to help them, they will appreciate that and they will um, do better for you, right? So, so I always try to speak to my students honestly. Uh, thank you, Lolly. Yeah, because you want a you want an honest relationship with people. You want you you want you want people to um, like you for who you are, right? You don't want to be um, dishonest. You don't want to to lie, and then they think you're something different. And if they think you're something different, it's not going to last a long time. So, if you're honest with with people. And um, you get along, you'll have a long time friendship, yeah? Okay, here we go. Number seven, card number seven. I drive slowly. I drive slowly. I drive slowly. I drive slowly. <laughs> okay, yeah. I, I, it's hard for me to drive slowly. I can't. I can't drive slowly. I don't know. I, I get, uh, let's go, let's go. <laughs> so this is not me. This, this is not, I drive fast. I, I can't drive slowly. No. <laughs> Some people drive slowly. Here in Japan, many people drive slowly. I can't. I can't do it. <laughs> Here we go. Number eight, last card. I live powerfully. I live powerfully. I live powerfully. I will, Lala. I'm a okay. I drive fast, but I'm a good driver. And my 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 way of driving is like a good offense is a, a good defense. So I drive fast, and so I get away from people, and, and so I'm not in accidents. I don't get in accidents because I, I get away from the other cars. And so I, I want to get away from the pack of cars. I, I, wanna, I don't want cars around me. I don't want anybody around me. I want the road. I want to be in front of everyone. That's my position. <laughs> I, I want to be the first car. I don't want to be in the back. I don't want to be in the middle. I don't want to be stuck. And that's a, like you see people in accidents and they're all like stuck together. No, 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 no. I want to be in front. I want to be away from people. So I drive fast to get away from the other cars. <laughs> okay, here we go. I live powerfully. I live powerfully. Yeah, so, so this might be like he, he's a bodybuilder. So he... he Thank you, Lolly. So um, he has muscles, yeah. And so he he he's strong. He lives powerfully. Maybe you know he 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 does his best. He he works hard. He 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 um, has how does it work? What's the saying? Like you know, work hard and play hard, right? So he. You know, he works hard, he does his best at work, and he also plays hard. He, he you know, he, he goes to the gym, he plays sports, so he, he does everything with power. <laughs> everything with power and strength. So he lives powerfully. He, he, everything he does is like, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Okay, 
I live powerfully. Okay, good job, everyone. That was shadowing. Let's check it off. There we go. Okay, let's take turns, shall we? So what we're going to do now is I'm going to say the sentence, and then you're going to say the sentence. But when it's your turn, I'm going to cover the sentence. So you have to say the sentence by only looking at the picture, okay? So when I'm speaking, you are listening. Remember I said conversation is 50-50, right? One person is speaking, one person is listening. So when I am speaking, you are listening. And then when you are speaking, I am listening, okay? So, but when it's your turn, I'm going to cover the sentence. So you have to say the sentence by looking only at the picture, okay? It's a challenge, but that's why you are here. Okay, so here we go. Let's take turns. I'm first and you are second. So when I'm speaking, you are listening. Here we go. I make the bed neatly. Now it's your turn. You say the sentence. Go. I make the bed neatly. I make the bed neatly. I ride my bike fast. I ride my bike fast. I ride my bike fast. <clears throat> I surf gracefully. I surf gracefully. I surf gracefully. Oh, Marcio, thank you so much, buddy. I appreciate it. Very kind of you. Okay, you get your name right up here. That's the, that's the, the, the spot of love right there. <laughs> right here, Marcio, right there. Thank you for your kind support. Okay, thank you, Marcio. And you get a heart. There you go. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate your kind support. Mwah. Thank you so much. I really do. That's very kind of you. Cheers. Here we go. Salute. Cheers. I'm, I'm not, I don't know how to say cheers in, in Portuguese, but there you go. Thank you, Marcio. Okay. I appreciate it. I really do. Okay, let's go to the next. Here we go. I listen carefully. Now it's your turn. Oh, thank you, Marcio. I appreciate it. I listen carefully. I listen carefully. Marcio, thanks again. I really appreciate it. Mwah. That, that's nice of you. It really is. Okay, here we go. Next card. I shop wisely. I shop wisely. I shop wisely. Okay, next card. Oh, okay. Salud. Or right, that's not how you pronounce it. So, oh, I, I, I need to hear that. Sade? I, I, oh, sorry, Marcos. Or, or sorry, Mar uh, Marcio. There you go. Sa Sade? Oh, okay. I'm, I'll, I'll check it later. I'll go. I'll Google that later. Okay. I'll check it out later. I don't have time right now, but um, cheers, buddy. Okay. Here we go. I speak to my students honestly. I speak to my students honestly.
I speak to my student. I speak to my students honestly. Okay, next card. I drive slowly. I drive slowly. I drive slowly. <clears throat> okay, here we go. Number eight. I live powerfully. I live powerfully. I live powerfully. Me too, Candy. Me too. I, I type slowly. Me too. <laughs> okay, everyone. Great job. We took turns. Yes, we did. So I said the sentence and then you said the sentence. Okay, here we go. Step number four. It's time for the quiz. So what we're going to do here now, I'm going to shuffle the cards so we don't know. And I'm going to choose three cards. Uh, thank you, Tomas. Yeah, I'm not sure the pronunciation. Sade? Is that it? Sade? I'm not sure if, the, if it's just silent. Sad. I, I don't know. Sade? I, I don't know the pronunciation. I know Spanish, salute. It's close, right? Okay, I'm shuffling the cards, and I'm going to choose the first three cards on top. Okay, thank you, Lolly. Lolly says stop shuffling. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the first three cards. I'm going to cover the sentence. So now you're going to look at the picture and then write the sentence in the chat. Okay, here we go. What is the sentence? Write the sentence. There we go. Write the sentence in the chat. Do you remember? So look at the picture. No, no, no. Um, ramen, fast. Okay, there, there are some irregular adverbs. So we, we don't say fastly. No, we just say fast. Same with well. So good, well. And, and so, yeah, so it's not fastly. No, it's just fast. I drive fast. I, I, I walk fast. I run fast. Okay, what's the sentence? Okay, here we go. Tetsuro, I make my bed neatly. Sweet Lana, I make my bed neatly. Mary, I make my bed neatly. Lolly, I make my bed neatly. Aza, I make my bed neatly. Samuel. Lavin. Mitra. Okay, good, Ramen. Marcio, so I live powerfully like um, strong health. So, so Marcio, like I live... Powerfully mean everything you do is, is like I do it powerfully like um, You know, I do everything The best I can right I do everything You know, I, I don't I don't um, go I, I don't take it easy. I do everything the best I can you know, I do it with power everything I do I do it with power. I don't do anything um, Like there's kind of a, a half-ass we say half-ass, like some people don't try very hard. You see people maybe at work, they're, they're walking slowly, they're, they're not doing their best. But if you live powerfully, you, you're doing your best. Everything you are doing, doing with passion. Good, I, that's a, thank you, Sleepwalker. Yeah, so like you're doing things with passion. Everything you do, you do your job with passion. You, you, you do your hobbies with passion. You treat your family with passion. So everything you're doing um, at your best. Okay, there we go. Let's, let's find out what the sentence is. 
Yes, I make my bed neatly. Very good, very good. Yes, Candy. Okay, here we go. Card number two, everyone. Write the sentence in the chat. Number two. Do you remember the sentence? Write the sentence in the chat. Write the sentence in the chat. That's good. Yeah, email. That's nice. Helga's on the board. There's Sleepwalker. Mary. There we got Azaz on the board, Tetsuro's on the board, Sweet Lana, Cecilia, Mitra, Lolly, Samuel, Candy, Nelson, Aza. Me too, Marcio. <laughs> I make my bed very quick. Very quickly, just I have a, a, a bedspread. Just put that over. Done. <laughs> I, I I don't take my time. I don't make my bed neatly. I just throw the cover on top. Okay, it's done. <laughs> okay, here let's have a look at the sentence here. Here we go. Yes, I ride my bike fast. I ride my bike fast. Okay, here we go. Card number three. Last one in the, in the, this activity, this last card in the activity. And this is a good card. This is a very good one. I hope you all do this. I hope you all do this. Please write the sentence in the chat. I hope you all do this sentence. <laughs> It's a good sentence. Okay, Helga, Aza, Sleepwalker, Mary, Sweet Lana, Cecilia. Mitra. Nelson. Samuel Tetsuro. Okay, here we go. You guys got it. <laughs> good, good, Candy. Hello, Ameth. Okay, here we go. And the sentence is Matsura. Okay, there it is. Oh, Maya Sofina. Sofine. Okay, thank you, Tetsuro. I listen carefully. Very good. India's in the house. Hello. <laughs> okay, good, good, Aza. All right. Yes, yes, yes. That was our four steps to success. Good job. Let's check it off. And um, actually, this would be a good time for the poll. Thank you, Tetsuro. We still have um, Lolly's Revenge to do. We have Lolly's Revenge. But because the poll is about adverbs, let's check it out. Let's do the, the poll now. So in the chat, on top of the chat, there's a blue box. And I asked you to finish the sentence. I think it starts like, I walk, and then you have to finish the sentence. So let's, let's have a look at the poll, shall we? And I'm going to open the box here. I'm going to check it out. Oh, 143 people voted. Mwah! Wow, so today we had a good, a good turnout today. Very good, very happy. Yay! Sometimes we have a few people, and today we had a lot of people, so... Thank you, everyone. I appreciate it. That's great. Okay, so I want you to finish the sentence. Yeah, kind of like we did here, right? And so I walk, and then there are four possibilities, four choices. Here we go. We have slowly, gracefully, quickly, quietly. One more time. 
slowly, gracefully, quickly, quietly, quietly. So like maybe like the thief walks quietly because the thief doesn't want people to hear. <laughs> so, and we have people who walk slowly, right? And then we have people who walk gracefully. I don't know, like maybe like a model, like a, a, a you know, going on the cot, on, down the catwalk, you know, <laughs> and they're, they're walking gracefully. And you have people walking quickly and you have people walking quietly. So how do you walk? And um, in the poll, 60% said slowly. Wow. So 60% of you said slowly. You walk slowly. Ah, I don't like it. No, like, like in the train station, many people are walking too slow. Like they're walking very slowly. And it's like, no, I move. I got to get my train. So I'm walking quickly. And all, most people are walking slowly. And I'm walking quickly. <laughs> Uh, but 61% of you have slowly. Then number two is quickly. That's me. I walk quickly, in, especially in the train station. In the train station, I am walking quickly. And 9% um, said gracefully. Oh, we have graceful walkers here. And then 8% uh, said quietly so we have we have people who walk quietly we have people who walk quickly we have people walking gracefully but most of you are walking slowly all right amara slowly amara walks slowly lolly i walk quickly me too lolly i walk quickly let's see ah Maya Sophonia, uh, gracefully. Yeah, Sweet Lana. Actually, the, um, Sweet Lana says, uh, depends on the situation, right? So maybe if you're with your family, you're with kids, you, maybe you walk uh, slower. But if you're like, you got to catch the train, you are walking faster, right? So you might, depends where you are the situation, you're walking slowly or quickly. Or, and then maybe, you know, at night, you come home late at night, your family is sleeping, so you're walking quietly because you don't want to wake up your family. Yeah, so you are walking quietly. And then um, gracefully, maybe, you know, people are watching you. Like, so maybe if you are at work, or you're somewhere and people are watching you, maybe you're going to walk more gracefully, right? Maybe, you know, keep your, keep your back straight, yeah, keep your chest out and walk gracefully, right? And so, so I think all these choices, it depends on the situation, yeah? <laughs> Good. All right, see you in sun. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Indian Law. I appreciate it. Oh, okay. We have a question, Ameth. Um, quietly means without noise, little noise, right? So if you, if you come home and people are sleeping, and so you want to be quiet, you don't, you don't want to make noise. You want to walk quietly so you do not wake up your family. You do not wake up the people in the house. So you walk quietly. Okay, good. All right. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, let's, that was the poll. So thank you everyone for voting. Wow, 148 votes now. So that's fantastic. That's a lot of people. So that makes me happy. <laughs> okay, all right. So let's, um, Let's, let's do our last activity. This is activity number five, okay? We're doing number five now, and that is Lolly's Revenge. Oh, one thing, too. Um, on my Patreon, I put all, all the, um, the cards and the worksheets that we do in class, they are on my Patreon. So if you want to download worksheets we do in our live stream class, 
please go to my Patreon page, support me there, and you get all the worksheets and cards. So these cards are on my Patreon page. So everything we do in the live stream class is on my Patreon. So support me there and you get the worksheets and the cards, things that we do in the live stream class. So um, I just want to tell you about that. Okay, let's go to number five and that is Lolly's Revenge. So I think I will write number five here. Okay, we'll go down here. That's the only spot we have. So number five, and that's Lolly's Revenge. Okay, and that's a conversation between two people, Joe and Sue, and there are four steps, just like dictation cards, four steps, but the steps are different. So step number one, that's the conversation, okay? Step number two is questions and answers. Step number three is reading. And step number four is shadowing. Okay. And like I said, it's a conversation between two people, Joe and Sue. So when you see my thumb, Joe is speaking. When you see my pinky, Sue is speaking. All right. So Joe and Sue. And so um, listen carefully to the conversation because I will ask you questions. So I will say the, I will read the conversation three times. So after three times, we will, I will ask you questions. Okay, so here we go. Here it is. This is Joe. Please say hello to Joe. This is Sue. Please say hello to Sue. Okay, here we go. We're, we're, I'm going to read the conversation. Count down. Five, four, three, two, one. <clears throat> here we go. Joe is first. Sue, I'm taking up golf. I used to play back in high school. Really? Were you good? I wasn't bad. Let's see your swing, Joe. Remember, I'm just learning. You need to use your hips. Like this? No, turn them into the ball and follow through. It's difficult. Yes, it is. It takes years to be a good golfer. Okay, so I'm going to do it two more times. Here we go. Second time. Listen carefully. Sue, I'm taking up golf. I used to play back in high school. Really? Were you good? I wasn't bad. Let's see your swing, Joe. Remember, I'm just learning. You need to use your hips. Like this? No, turn them into the ball and follow through. It's difficult. Yes, it is. It takes years to be a good golfer. Okay, here we go. One more time. This is the third time. And then I'm going to ask you questions about the conversation. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Number three, third time, <clears throat> Joe is first. <clears throat> Sue, I'm taking up golf. I used to play back in high school. Really? Were you good? I wasn't bad. Let's see your swing, Joe. Remember, I'm just learning. You need to use your hips. Like this? No, turn them into the ball and follow through. It's difficult. Yes, it is. It takes years to be a good golfer. <clears throat> okay, that was the conversation. Let's mark it off. There we go. Okay, here we go. Questions and answers. Oh, oh sleepwalker. <clears throat> Let's see your swing. No, no, demonstration. 
So, so that's a good question. So in the conversation, Sue says, let's see your swing, Joe, right? And so like they're in the house. And so like, you know, like, you, so, right. So just, just a demonstration, right? And so, um, so anyways, so let's see your swing. So they're just talking. And so um, Joe's just not, it's just, just using his hands, just demonstration. Good question, Sleepwalker. Okay, here we go. Oh, yes I am, Lolly. I'm a good golfer, yes I am. <laughs> but, but in Japan, I just, yeah, I, I'm, I, I started back in high school. Yeah, so anyways. <laughs> Here we go. Question number one. Question number one. What is Joe learning to play? Question number one. What is Joe learning to play? What is Joe learning to play? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yes, Lolly. He is learning to play golf. Good. Good. Ramen golf. Tetsuro. He is learning to play golf. Yes. Sleepwalker. Mary. Samuel. Aza. Yes, Marcos. Yes, Candy. Okay. Good. Good. Yes. Question one. What is Joe learning to play? And you are correct. He is learning to play golf. Okay, here we go. Question number two. Question number two. Oh, oh Indian law. Some people soon. Yeah, okay. So, <laughs> so um, Indian law, maybe this is your first time. Yeah. And um, so I do this every week, and it's always Joe and Sue. So it's it's a it's a continued story, a continued uh, conversation between Joe and Sue. So um, I've been doing this for a long time, and so um, people in the chat, people who come and watch my videos every week, they they know who Joe and Sue. Are and um, and so it's a continuing story about Joe and Sue. So it's just continuing about these two people. Okay. Question number two: When did Sue play golf? When did Sue play golf? Question number two: Yeah, it's a series. That's right, Sleepwalker. It, we do this every week, every Tuesday, we do conversation. It's like a book now, huh? I have, so I have, so every week I print out a, a sheet, right? And so I have like, it's about this thick now. <laughs> it's, it's a book. I could, I could write a book about Joe and Sue now. Okay, so... Um, Question number two, when did Sue play golf? Let's see. Number two, Helga, she played golf in high school. Good. Tetsuro, she played in high school. Oh, Marcio, golf, not volleyball, golf. The little ball with, with the club. Bam, you hit the, you hit the little ball and you want it to go in a hole, right? And so it's a far, the hole is far away, and it's a very challenging game. It's a very difficult game to play because the, move, the ball just sits there. You have to hit the ball, but your body, like any little, like, it's, golf is very mechanical. And so your body has to be, everything has to be the right motion, the right swing, speed, motion. It's very mechanical. It's very difficult to play because 
you have to hit this little ball in a hole far away. <laughs> it's very hard, but it's very challenging and it's very interesting and it's fun. But it can be, it's fun, but then at times it could be discouraging, like, ah, right? Because each time you hit it, it's, it's going to be different and it's hard. Okay, yes, everyone, in high school. Good, good, good. So, yeah, golf is not easy, very difficult. When did Sue play golf? Yeah, in high school, very good. Oh, that's too bad. Marcio has internet problems. I don't like to hear that. That's bad news, Marcio. Okay, here we go. Question number three. What advice does Sue give Joe? What advice or did? What advice did Sue give Joe? What advice did Sue give Joe? Very good Indian law, for sure. Yep. English is the lingo franca. It's the, if you're in business, it's the international language. If you're, yeah, if you travel, that, that's like, you know, everybody studies English. So wherever you go, if you know English, you can um, communicate with someone. Okay, what advice did Sue give Joe? Okay, Tetsuro. Uh, she advised him to turn his hips into the ball and follow through. Yes. Lolly, turn into the ball and follow through. Good. Yeah, so hips. So golf, you got to, the power is in the hips. It's not, it's not your arms, it's your hips. And, and so as you, you move your hips and then everything follows. So the first thing that moves is your hips. So you're, you're up here and then you, you turn this and then it follows through. So that's the thing. You got to use your hips. And like, actually, um, golf is like baseball. So in, in baseball, right, you, 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 Turn your hips, right, in baseball. And so golf is like baseball, but baseball you're hitting here, but in golf you're hitting down. So, it's, so many baseball players are also good golfers because they have the same swing. It's just a different position. So like if you've ever played baseball, you have to like, this is where the power is. The hips, that's where the power comes from. So... You got to use your hips and then everything follows through. <laughs> yeah, that's right, Candy. Use your hips. Use the hips. That's Sue's advice. Like, use your hips and then follow through, right? So, bam. Okay, good, good. Let's see, Samuel. She advised him to turn his hips and follow through the ball. Follow through the ball. Oh, you're welcome, Sleepwalker. Sleepwalker says, thank you for the golf lesson. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, so with golf, there's many mechanics, right? So you have to like, it's all timing and moving your body, right? You have to move your hips, your arms, right? And it has to be all done gracefully and um, at the right, at the right positions. And so that's why golf is very difficult. Many moving parts in your, in golf, right? There's your body, the club. And, and so everything's moving at the same time, but it's very mechanical how, how you move your body, how you move the club, the speed. I, I don't know, Helga, I don't know that game. I, I don't know. Is that I don't know the English. What's the English word? I don't know what that that is. Okay. 
Samuel, yeah, so um, there are many golfers in America. Yeah. Many around the world, many golfers around the world. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a world sport for sure. Okay, here we go. Question number four. Okay, now, so question one, two, and three, um, those are in the conversation, right? So, uh, what is Joe learning to play? Golf. That's in the conversation. Uh, when did Sue play golf in high school? That's in the conversation. What advice did Sue give Joe? That's in the conversation, right? She said, um, turn, okay, use your hips and turn into the ball and follow through, right? That's in the conversation. Number four is not in the conversation, okay? So number four, question number four is your own idea, your opinion, like we did we did that here in activity number two, give your opinion. Okay, so that's what this is. So number four, give your opinion. What do you think? Question number four, what are the benefits of golf? What do you think? What's your idea? What are the benefits of golf? What do you think are the benefits of golf? So it's your own opinion. It's your idea. What do you think the benefits of golf are? Helga said, okay, in a game with a um, small cylinder would chokes and knocked out the city with a stick. Is that kind of like um, cricket? It sounds like cricket almost. I don't know, Helga. So it's, it's, the ball is on a cylinder and you hit it off the cylinder? Okay, Marcos, thank you. Okay, here we go. So, okay, what are the benefits of golf? What do you think are the benefits? I like, I, I see so far, okay. Uh, Sleepwalker says, you learn to concentrate and be patient. Yes, very, that's a, that is a big benefit, right? Um, Learn concentration, learn patience, very important. Marcos, thank you for being here with us, Marcos. Okay, Ume says improves your health. Yeah, you're, you're walking on the course, you're moving your body. Yep. Lolly says golf is good to be in shape, good shape. Yep, so um, a golf course is very, very large. It's very long, and so lots of walking. You're like in golf, you're walking about three hours. So, so 18 holes takes about three hours to play. And so you're walking for three hours. So it's good exercise. And, and then Tetra says that like, it, it, it helps relationships. And that's very true. Like business people play golf because they can spend three hours together, talk about things and, and they, can bond with each other. So, so golf is a, a good way to bond with people. So it, golf is good for building relationships. Good one, Tetsuro. Yeah, Umesh, great exercise. Lolly, you can play golf with friends, yep. And so golf can be, I mean, it's difficult to play, but you don't have to be a good golfer, right? You can, like, the thing is, you could be a good golfer, but your friend is a bad golfer, but you can play together because you're not playing against each other in a way like tennis, right? Tennis, you're hitting the ball and the other person needs to hit the ball back. And so you have to have like kind of a um, equal skill, but golf, you are doing it yourself. And so you can play and maybe you're a good golfer, but maybe your friend is a weak golfer or a bad golfer, but you can still play together. So that's a good, that's a good point, Lolly. You could play with friends. It doesn't matter who is better. You can still play together. Yeah, say the benefit is making your health. Yeah, or say the benefit is, um, let's see, uh, say the benefit is, um, 
you know, the easiest would say, well, the benefit is health. The benefit is health. That's a good, that's easy and, and simple to understand and um, clear. Clear and smooth. The benefit is health. Yes, so Indian uh, law, the game is um, physical and mental. So, so you're practicing, you're, you're, you're using your body and your mind. So it's both physical and mental. Good. Okay, good, John. See you next time. Lolly, when you work hard, golf will help you relax. Yes, yes. And, and so a, a lot of times like doing repetitive things. So repetitive meaning over and over again, right? And so like golf, you're, you're, re, you're doing repetitive motions, right? And by doing repetitive like over and over and over, that can be relaxing. That, that's true, Lolly. Oh, Umesh says, it provides entertainment and award if you win. Yes, yes. So, so it, it's a double benefit, right? So it's entertaining, it's fun, and it's rewarding because you, um, you could be the winner, right? So there's like four people in the group, and so it's entertaining, and you're, you're challenging to, to be the best. You're challenging to have the lowest score. So... So many sports, you want a high score. Like baseball, you want each, each home run, you know, each score, you're building points. But golf, you want to be low, low. So um, good, good, good. Let's see, Helga. Um, when you play golf, you spend time outdoors, enjoy the weather. Good, yes, yes. So... What's nice about golf is it's beautiful. So you're playing on grass and the environment, trees and mountains. And so you're outdoors and you're moving your body and it's, it's a beautiful scenery. And so, nice one. Yeah, and you're, you're enjoying the weather, right? The, the sunshine. Mary says, I think golf helps people to be healthy and happy for sure. Good one. Oh, sweet Lana. Golf is a game of tactics. Yes, because you have to. So when you, you know, it takes a few times, right? You, you have to um, use different clubs. And, and so you have like a driver and there's like a five wood. Uh, 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 goes like drivers a one, then you have a three, five, seven, and then you have irons and a putter and, and different position. So the ball, you hit the ball and the ball is in a different location according to the hole. And so you have to, um, you have to decide, you have to strategize what club you're going to use and how you're going, like the position, the position of the ball, right? So you're here, the ball's here and the hole's over there and you have to, you have to decide um, where are you going to hit it in relation to the hole. So there's lots of strategizing. So very good. Tactics, yes, yeah, sweet Lana. So how are you going to hit the ball? You're gonna, which, which club are you going to use? How much power are you going to use? So there's lots of Lots of thinking going into golf. Lots of thinking about golf. Ah, Samuel says, it makes our body refresh and makes our hands powerful. Yeah, because it's all like you're holding the club. So you're using grip. There you go, Sewu. The benefit is health. I like it, Sewu. It's, it's, it's not, okay, uh, Indian law, it's not a table game, but um, it, it's, a, it's, a, uh, it's a grass game. You play on grass, and you enjoy it as a group. That's, yep, so it, it's a grass game for a group to enjoy. 
<laughs> Umesh, you can make friends with Tiger Woods. Yep, that's a benefit. <laughs> Sleepwalker, um, you get you get a tan playing golf. I imagine it is sunny weather. Yep. Hey, Mano May, how are you today? You're late, Mano May. We're almost finished here. That's right, Tetsuo, the Masters. Okay, good job. Okay, nice, nice, nice. All right, very good, everyone. So that was questions and answers. So now. Let's go to reading, okay? So let's, let's read the um, conversation. I will put the conversation on the screen so we can read it together, okay? Here we go. Let, let's, let's read the conversation together. There it is. Okay, here we go. Joe is first. Sue, I'm taking up golf. I used to play back in high school. Really? Were you good? I wasn't bad. Let's see your swing, Joe. Remember, I'm just learning. You need to use your hips. Like this? No, turn them into the ball and follow through. It's difficult. Yes, it is. It takes years to be a good golfer. Okay, here we go. Let's read it again. Sue, I'm taking up golf. I used to play back in high school. Really? Were you good? I wasn't bad. Let's see your swing, Joe. Remember, I'm just learning. You need to use your hips. Like this? No, turn them into the ball and follow through. It's difficult. Yes, it is. It takes years to be a good golfer. Okay, here we go. Third time, we always... Yeah, there you go, Lolly. Take up something, start a hobby. Thank you, Lolly. Okay, let's um, do it one more time. We always do it in threes. Here we go. Sue, I'm taking up golf. I used to play back in high school. Really? Were you good? I wasn't bad. Let's see your swing, Joe. Remember, I'm just learning. You need to use your hips. Like this? No, turn them into the ball and follow through. It's difficult. Yes, it is. It takes years to be a good golfer. <laughs> okay, good, good. All right, so that was reading. So let's... Let's check it off. We read it three times. Yes, we did. Okay, now here we go. Fourth time, or the fourth, step number four. Step number four, and this is shadowing. So please say the sentence with me. Yeah? Okay, wait, Lolly, follow through. Okay, now you are correct, Lolly, but in this situation for, for um, golf or baseball, Follow through, you're not stopping. So like, like that, that's not follow, follow through. So, so, okay, in golf you hit the ball, and after you hit the ball, you keep moving your body, right? So you follow through. So right here you hit the ball, but you keep moving. So, and you're following through, okay? So in this, you're correct, continue to completion. That, yeah, and so basically you're just, like after you hit, don't stop here. No, you follow through. Okay, good, Lolly. Okay, so um, now it's time to shadow. Let's say the sentence together. Let's be Joe, let's be Sue, let's be the conversation. Okay, here we go, <coughs> countdown. <coughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Sue, I'm taking up golf. Sue, I'm taking up golf. Sue, I'm taking up golf. Hold on, I need some water for my mouth. Trolley, hello. I used to play back in high school. I used to play back in high school. I used to play back in high school. Really? Were you good? Really? Were you good? 
Really? Were you good? I wasn't bad. Let's see your swing, Joe. I wasn't bad. Let's see your swing, Joe. I wasn't bad. Let's see your swing, Joe. Remember, I'm just learning. Remember, I'm just learning. Remember, I'm just learning. You need to use your hips. You need to use your hips. You need to use your hips. Like this, like this, like this. No, turn them into the ball and follow through. No, turn them into the ball and follow through. No, turn them into the ball and follow through. It's difficult. It's difficult. It's difficult. Yes, it is. It takes years to be a good golfer. Yes, it is. It takes years to be a good golfer. Yes, it is. It takes years to be a good golfer. <laughs> All right, so that was the conversation. Let's look at it one more time. Oh, you're welcome, Sewu. <laughs> okay, let's, um, let's look at it one more time. Here we go. Sue, I'm taking up golf. I used to play back in high school. Really? Were you good? I wasn't bad. Let's see your swing, Joe. Remember, I'm just learning. You need to use your hips. Like this? No, turn them into the ball and follow through. It's difficult. Yes, it is. It takes years to be a good golfer. <laughs> okay. Well done, everyone. Yes, 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 yeah. You did it. Five steps. Five activities, I should say. Nice, nice. And, and everything is on the, the cards, Lolly's Revenge, on my Patreon page. There is a link in the descriptions. Support me there and get the worksheets and cards we do in our live stream class. Also, we did some books today. We did the red book. The books are, are at Amazon.com. There's a link in the descriptions. And um, yeah, join the green team, everyone. Join the green team. Help me support the channel. Support me. And your name is in green. Okay, do that, please. And Marcio, thank you, buddy. Thank you today for your extra kind support i really appreciate it yes marcio i appreciate it. i appreciate it and also i have a website markulik.com there you get worksheets and flashcards that go with my videos on my patreon page they are the worksheets we do in the live stream classes on my website markulik.com those are worksheets that go with the videos my vod video on demand and for the live stream, worksheets, Patreon. Okay, thank you so much, everyone. Mwah. I really, really appreciate your kind support. I will be back on Friday, Friday, January 13th. Wow, so January 13th is our next live stream class, and that will be at 10 a.m. in the morning. So our next live stream class is January 13th, 10 a.m. Japan time. So January 13th, 10 a.m. Japan time. Oh, is that Friday the 13th? Oh boy, Friday the 13th. Oh, uh -oh. we have to have a special, special uh, toast for good luck because Friday, Friday the 13th, ask about Jason. <laughs> so, okay, January 13th, that's Friday. Oh boy, Friday the 13th, scary. Okay, and um, Japan time, yeah. I live in Japan. 
10 a.m. Japan time, Friday, January 13th. Be here if you can. Marcio, 10 a.m. Japan time. You live in Brazil, so that's 10 p.m. for you. 10 a.m. Japan time, 10 p.m. Brazil time. So it's nighttime for you. So come Friday, 10 p.m. your time. Or you, that might be Thursday for you. I don't know. I don't know. Google, check it out. Yeah, Marcia, I live in Japan. I live in Japan. Okay. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Marcio. Okay, good. Yeah, lots of Brazilians here, Marcio. Okay, good. Thank you, buddy. Okay, well, um, thank you, everyone. I will be back on Friday, like I said. And so um, let's count down to saying goodbye. Let's count down together and say goodbye. To yes, Lolly says, join the green team. Join the friendly green team right here. Join the channel. Support me so I can support you. By doing that, your name will be in green. Like you can see, Aza, Lali, Tetsuro, Sewu, right? So um, please do it. Help me so I can help you. All right. Mary is green. You can see Mary. Okay. Let's count down. Then there's Candy. You see Candy. She's in green. Okay. Let's count down together until Friday, yeah? Okay, here we go. And um, everyone, peace and love. Smile. Stay healthy. Be safe. Smile. Be safe. Stay healthy. I will see, I will see you on Friday. Let's count down to saying goodbye together. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Thank you so much, everyone. I will see you on Friday. Take it easy. Bye. Thank you.